GP2013 includes the ability to track serial numbers and lot numbers on dropship purchase orders. What this means is when you put the vendor's invoice for a dropship PO, you can enter the serial numbers or lot numbers at that time. This will improve the control you have over your inventory and in tracking those serial numbers and lot numbers. Let's take a look at it. To get started, let's enter a sales order for drop shipment to our customer. So I'll enter a quick order here, look up the customer, put that in a batch. Then I'm going to enter a serialized number for my inventory. Here it is here. Now I've got some on hand, and that's what's bringing this window up here, but I don't want to use those. I want to have these drop shipped. So I'm going to drop ship those items. And then I'm going to go ahead and purchase those. So I've got these items drop shipped, and I'm going to purchase that. Go through this dialog box here, and let's take a look at the vendor from whom I'm going to purchase this. Uh, this will be this one right here. So I'm going to create a PO based on the demand in the sales order. So let me generate that PO here. So now that PO is generated, let's take a look at that PO. Let's go over to the purchasing area page here and take a look at that purchase order. Here's the purchase order that was created automatically from that sales order. And here you can see the link back to the sales order here. So let's go ahead and invoice this. Let's pretend that this has been already shipped to the customer. So I'm going to enter the vendor's invoice for this. It brings up the screen here, and I want to enter the serial lot number right now, so I'm going to check this box here and then hit Invoice. It's going to bring up this screen here, and here I can enter the serial numbers for this particular shipment. So I'll just enter that here right now. So I've entered all the serial numbers, hit OK, and now this vendor's invoice is ready to post. It's going to leave the purchase order and also assign those serial numbers to the sales order. So let's take a look at that. Let's post this. So let's take a look at that sales order again. We're going to open up that sales document here. This is it here. And we can open up this line item and we can see that this is ready to go. It's already been fulfilled because we just entered the vendor's invoice. We can look at the serial numbers here. Here are the serial numbers, they're all assigned, and this is ready to go. So I can take this sales order now, it's ready to invoice, and I'm just gonna transfer that to an invoice. I'm gonna take it out of the batch and post that. So what this will do is this will show those items and those serial numbers going out to that customer to verify. I can go into field service here and look at the equipment for those items. So let's take a look at that equipment. Do a look up here and let's find on the item number. Here you can see these are the serial numbers that we just added here. They're added during the PO invoice process that automatically went into the sales order and then we invoice that and then the system created these equipment items in the system. So that is a complete look at the new functionality in GP2013 where I can put my serial numbers and lot numbers in on those dropship purchase orders when I enter the vendor's invoice. This is going to improve the control within your business.